Hello. So in two previous episodes, we have installed Font Awesome in the Ruby on Rails 6 and the Ruby on Rails 7 application. And today we are going to talk about how we can import SVGs, so all these fancy uh, icons in the Ruby on Rails application without uh, maintaining an external dependency. And for this example, we are going to copy the code of an SVG from Font Awesome and keep it in our code base and render it in our application and also from a Figma file. So here I have a Figma file with a few different SVGs. I'm going to copy one of these SVGs and display it uh, inside our Rails application without uh, maintaining any external dependencies. We're just going to keep the code of these SVGs inside our app. So I'll start with the Figma one. I will take this uh, SVG. I will say copy as SVG and I will save it somewhere in our Rails app. So I think it would uh, make sense to save it inside app assets images. I'll just create a new folder SVG and the name is going to be alert. So alert dot SVG. You see VS Code has found this format. I will copy in the code. So this code was uh, copied into my uh, uh, buffer when I clicked copy as SVG. And let's have a quick look at this code. So here we have the opening and closing SVG tag and uh, the path. The path is uh, basically the mathematical model to uh, create this sort of uh, icon. Okay, we've got this SVG and I'll also take an SVG from Font Awesome. So I will take any SVG, let's say YouTube. Okay, I will uh, say uh, download SVG file or actually copy SVG code. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, so I clicked copy SVG code and I copied this uh, SVG for alert uh, for YouTube uh, from Font Awesome. So let's also save this inside our images SVG. I will create a new file YouTube dot SVG. Okay, let's paste it in. And what do we have? So we've got the open and closing SVG tag, the path. And uh, yeah, looks good. Okay, now let's try to render these SVGs inside our index page. So the first thought would be to use an image tag. Let's try doing that. I will say equals image tag. Uh, so image tag will look for something inside app uh, assets images. So I will go to the folder SVG slash uh, alert dot SVG. Okay, let's see if it renders anything. Yes, you see it has been rendered and I will do the same for YouTube. Okay, uh, YouTube. Okay, now apparently this YouTube uh, was not uh, copied. So I clicked copy SVG code. Yeah, it didn't copy the right thing. So uh, I'll need to click download SVG file. Now I will go to our downloads folder. Here I have this uh, YouTube brands SVG. I will open it in the console. I'll copy this code uh, into our YouTube.svg. And let's have a look. So we have the SVG tag. Then we have this uh, hidden font awesome uh, license tag. We'll also keep it here. Then we have the path, so the mathematical model for this YouTube.svg, and we close the SVG tag. Okay, so here we have for alert and here we have for YouTube. And now I will go back to the application, I will refresh, and you see the SVG for YouTube has also been rendered. But uh, you see we've got these two SVGs from different sources and uh, they are, well, they're different, uh, at least by size. So let's try sizing them. Let's add some style. I will say style, height, uh, 100 pixels. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I've changed the height. Let's also try updating the color and the background color. Let's say color will be green and nothing changed. And let's say uh, back ground color will be red will anything change okay so the background color did change but the color of the element itself did not change let's see if it works for this other element for the alert i will copy the style same style and well 
the size has been updated so it looks a bit more uniform but uh, the green color has not been applied okay and you see that also the colors are slightly different so here it is black and here it is uh, uh, kind of uh, dark gray or light black so if we go back to this uh, alert.svg code we see there is this fill and there's some kind of color and instead of having this uh, fill with a specific color i will say current color okay i update and now the color also looks cool do we have this fill on youtube svg no we do not okay looks uh, fine and now what is the problem why can't we change the color of this svg and uh, why is uh, the element's height regulated by height in pixels not as font size so uh, if we have a look at inspect element we see that they were both rendered as images so we can actually save as image whereas we don't want to be able to save it as an image we want it to be rendered uh, in line and we want it to be an svg tag in the code uh, not an image tag so uh, we would have to do something different uh, instead of rendering uh, this svg as an image tag we will uh, try to render it actually as an svg and for this uh, i've created a small helper if we go to helpers svg helper you could also copy this code into your application basically i uh, select an icon name from the ones that i have in the, our svg folder i uh, find this file inside app assets images svg and uh, well it finds the icon name then uh, nokugiri passes uh, this uh, html we apply additional options and render it in html so we've got this uh, well quite sophisticated helper and let's try rendering uh, an svg using this svg tag instead of uh, image tag let's just copy this and instead of image tag i will say it will be svg tag and now here you see we have this uh, svg and dot svg so we don't need them here i will remove it and let's see okay so now it is uh, also different uh, we can see that uh, for this uh, alert thing uh, the svg has been rendered uh, in a different size and uh, on the good note the color has been applied as green so instead of uh, saying height 100 pixels to actually change uh, the size of this svg we will be able to use the font size i would say font size 40 pixels okay uh, font size 40 pixels and i will remove this height and well it didn't help what is the problem here here inside this alert.svg i've set uh, the width and height in pixels and it is not scalable so to make it scalable i'm going to say em i will say with one em and height one em and i change and you see the size has changed and now each time i uh, uh, change the font size let's make it from 40 pixels to 4 pixels so the size changed accordingly okay so this way we can change the size using font size instead of uh, changing the size of the whole element and this is much more scalable and it means we can use this uh, svg in line with text so the size of the svg will be the same as the size of our text and this is really important and now going to this youtube uh, tag let's have a look i will try to remove this height let's see and i will try to set font size so font size 40 pixels and no it didn't help why didn't it help let's have a look at this uh, code of uh, the youtube.svg well uh, we might be able to try to also set width and height uh, inside our youtube.svg let's try doing that and it worked so uh, looks good this way we are making our svgs more uniform uh, among one uh, one another okay so uh, also for this youtube the uh, color the fill color didn't change so we will want to add the fill current color 
going back to YouTube SVG and here before closing the tag I will say fill current color now going back and you see the fill has been updated so we actually had to manipulate uh, both uh, imported SVGs a bit but uh, the win is that they are part of our code base and we will not have to depend on external libraries and uh, we've got this quite sophisticated SVG helper that we use to manipulate them but if you don't want to have this own helper of yourself uh, you can just uh, use an external uh, library called inline svg now this is a gem that uh, offers you an inline svg tag so here in this svg helper we've created this svg tag and if we install the gem inline svg let's uh, try doing this i will go to gem file and add gem inline svg bundle so the gem will provide us with uh, a tag named uh, inline svg tag inline svg tag and we will just tell it to look for the svgs inside svg slash alert and svg slash youtube and you see it also gets rendered so the first two elements were rendered uh, as images and next elements are all rendered correctly as SVGs as expected. And in the case of these first two SVGs, they are rendered using a custom SVG helper that we wrote inside our code base. But if uh, you feel comfortable using an, uh, a gem and not having this uh, SVG helper, then you can install the gem inline SVG and uh, use it instead. So here are three options of uh, displaying an SVG in Ruby Rails application. I hope you liked the episode. Goodbye.